How do we add decimals? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kanina, today we're going to add decimals. I realized that I haven't made a video about this. So we are going to start a new series on decimals, especially for the younger students out there who are watching my videos. And before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, so that we can keep doing this and providing free content to you, you can go ahead and check out our merch shop, so shop.teamlika.com. That is where you can find the shirts, hoodies, mugs, caps, and things that I designed for this team. So, sa lahat ng mga bumili na, maraming salamat sa inyo. Sa bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. And thank you for helping me help so many more people through this channel. Now that we have that out of the way, let me switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ang lesson natin for today is adding decimals. And this is a very important lesson kasi whether you are just solving numbers or you're going to encounter them sa so word problems na madalas lumalabas sa mga examinations, kailangan ma-master talaga natin yung mga kailangan natin gawin. Okay? Now, we're going to start with something simple. We have a problem right here. It says 1.23 plus 4.56. Anong gagawin natin if we ha have to add itong dalawang numbers na to na may mga decimals? Now, the first step is to align the numbers. You have to align the numbers. Ibig sabihin, titignan natin kung nasaan yung decimal at pagtatapatin natin yon. So, ibababa natin yung 1.23 and then we're going to take the decimal doon sa 4.56. Itatapat natin siya dito. And following that, doon natin ilalagay yung ating 4.56. Again, very important na aligned yung dalawang decimals natin. Okay? So, now that we're looking at this, we can start to solve. Okay? If you see, you can divide it into sections. Okay? So, again, importante to align the numbers. That's step one. Now, step two, you have to add the dig digits, but you have to do it from right to left. Ano ibig sabihin nun? We're going to start with 3 and 6. That's the first thing that we're going to look at. So, itong column na ito. Now, 3 plus 6 is 9. So, we're going to just write 9 there. Tapos, magmove na tayo dun sa next column or sa next na pair ng numbers. You have 2 and 5. So, 2 plus 5 is 7. And dahil tapos na tayo dyan, mag-move na tayo sa susunod. But if you notice, meron decimal na magkatapat right here. So, ibig sabihin nun, dun sa sagot natin, dito rin natin ilalagay yung ating decimal. Okay? Tapos, dito na sa first column, 1 plus 4 is going to give us 5. Okay? So, yan yung sagot natin. Ang answer natin ay 5.79. Okay? So, again, you just have to number 1. Align the numbers, and number two, add the digits from right to left. Now, the next question would be, what if ganito yung question? You have 1.2 plus 0 0.06. Now, dahil um, hindi naman nagbago yung ating operation, the steps remain the same. You have to align the numbers, and you have to make sure that the decimals are in place. Okay? So, again, tapat-tapat. Tapos, ihahabol natin itong 0 0.06 right there. Now, 1.2 plus 0 0.06, if you notice, walang number dito. Wala siyang number dito sa tapat nung 6. But that's okay kasi pagdating sa decimals, lahat ng decimals ay merong uh, mga zeros naman sa dulo nun. If you need to see it, you can draw a zero right here. Okay? Para lang may nakatapat sa kanya. Okay? But ang importante is that this is going to be zero or kung isusunod natin yung ating next step which is to add the digits from right to left, this is just zero plus six or just rewrite the number there which is six. Okay? Next column, two plus zero is going to give us two. Tapos we have a decimal there, decimal there, ito na yung tapat nila. So dito natin ilalagay yung ating decimal dun sa final answer. And then you have your first column which is one plus zero which will give us one. So, ang 1.2 plus 0 0.06 is 1.26. Okay? So, again, it's the same thing. Align the numbers. 
Be mindful of the decimal kasi that is our marker. And then add the digits from right to left. Okay? Now, paano naman kung ganito? You have 1.95 plus 3.46. Now, these are tricky numbers kasi magkakaroon na tayo ng regrouping dito. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? First step is to align the numbers pa rin. So, we're going to just rewrite it. Bababa natin 1.95 plus, and then you have your decimal there. So, which means, dyan natin alagay yung 3.46. If you look at it, okay, ganyan ang magiging uh, setup natin, we're going to start pa rin with adding the numbers from right to left. Kaya ang unang column natin is 5 and 6. But the thing is, ang 5 plus 6 is not just a single number. Diba? Hindi na siya single digit number. Kasi ang 5 plus 6 is 11. Okay? Na ano mangyayari dun sa 11 natin? Now, dahil hindi ko pa ni ilagay yung 11 dito because it only has enough room for one digit, ang gagawin natin would be yung ating ones digit. Okay? Kasi ang, ang 11 ay 10 plus 1. So, yung ating sobra sa 10, which is this digit right here, sa right side, ay ilalagay natin dito sa ilalim. Tapos, itong 1 na ito, ay ilalagay naman natin sa taas. Okay? There. So, yun yung sabi natin na we carry it over to the next na column. Okay? So, it still is 11, but the 1's digit is here, the 10's digit is there. Okay. Na ano mangyayari dyan? Kapag isosolve na natin yung next column, instead of just 9 plus 4, ang mangyayari na would be we will add the number there. So this will be 1 plus 9, which is 10, plus 4, which is going to give us 14. Now, same case dun sa kanina, right? Na kailangan natin tong pag... Hiwalayin, kasi meron lang tayong room again for one digit. So, ibig sabihin nun, the 4 will go right there. The 1 will go right there naman sa kabila, sa susunod na column natin. And then, you have the decimal place, kasi nandiyan na siya, nasa the decimal point, I mean. Nalagay na natin siya dyan. And then, this time, pag nag-move tayo sa first column, it will be 1 plus 1 plus 3, which is going to give us 5. So, the answer is 5.41. Okay? So again, just be careful. Don't forget to write yung 1 sa taas. Don't forget to add it then kapag turn niya na para hindi kayo magkamali dun sa final answer natin. Okay? Now, the best way for us to check if naintindihan niyo talaga siya is through a quick quiz. We have three questions here. I'm going to give you time to solve it. And then, then at the end of the time na bibigay ko sa inyo, we're going to solve it together. Alright? If you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So here we have your first question natin, 2.72 plus 7.15. I'll rewrite ko lang siya like this. Again, step one is to align everything just so it's easier to solve. And then we can solve it from right to left. We're going to start with 2 and 5. So 2 plus 5 is 7. After that, we have the next column. 7 plus 1 is 8. And the decimal point. So, dyan na natin siya lalagay. 2 plus 7 is 9. So, the answer is 9.87. Okay? Did you get it right? Okay. So, warm up pa lang ito. Okay. So, we have number 2. Sabi dito 12.532 plus 4.1. Now, again, ang first natin gagawin is to align them. Make sure na yung decimal ay magkatapat. But if you notice, isang decimal place lang ang meron dito. While this has 1, 
two, three. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Pwede tayo magdagdag dito ng dalawa pang zero. Okay? Which would turn this into this. Now, again, ang 4.1 at 4.100 ay pareho lang din naman. Ang importante ay magkatapat yung ating mga decimal point. Okay? Now, pwede natin isolve. You go from right to left. So, 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 0 is 3. Diba? Ang rule natin, identity property of addition. Anything, uh, any number, kapag dinagdagan mo siya ng 0, ang magiging sagot is the original number. Okay? If you haven't seen our video on the properties of addition and multiplication, uh, you can click right here sa i button if you're watching on YouTube para you can catch up. Okay? So again, we have 3 and 2 na sa dulo. Dito na tayo sa column na to. We have 5 and 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. The decimal place is right here. So ilalagay na natin siya dyan. And then you have 2 plus 4 which is going to give us 6. And yung 1 na wala namang katapat, ibababa na lang natin siya. You have 16.632. Okay? Tama ba kayo? Okay. Very good. Very good. Dito tayo sa number 3. Okay. So again, same thing. Yeah, align lang natin sila. Dito tayo sa pinaka-right magsa-start. 4 plus 7 is 11. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung 11, paghihiwalayin ulit natin. Dito yung isang 1, dito yung 10th digit, magkakaroon siya ng 1 dyan. So, instead of 5 plus 2 lang, magiging 1 plus 5, which is 6, plus 2, magiging 8. Okay? Now, ang decimal point ay nandyan, decimal point right here then. And now, we have 8 plus 9, which is going to give us... 17. So, the answer is 17.81. Now, don't forget this, ha? Okay? Huwag nyo kakalimutan. Diyan natin nilalagay kapag sumusobra doon sa 10, uh, sumusobra sa 9, yung ating sagot. Okay? Yung 10th digit, lalagay mo sa kabilang or sa susunod na column. Alright? I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Laika Maravilla on Instagram for more quick quizzes. We post it dun sa Instagram story natin, my quiz function kasi dun. So you will find out as soon as you, you click or you tap kung ano yung tamang sagot at kung tama kayo. And of course, if you want to catch the quick quiz throwback questions, you can follow me at Team Laika on Instagram then. Also for important announcements, lalo na sa ating mga review programs. And of course, if you have TikTok, I'm there uh, at Team Laika for the educational content, math and video lessons. At marami pang quick quizzes din at explanations. And of course, dun sa at Laika Maravilla for my personal account. That's where I talk about more personal stuff, motivational videos, tips, advice, at iba pa. So you can follow me on TikTok. Alright, see you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo nung mag-exam din sila. Dati nyo salamat tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash team Laika for more information. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We have more videos coming up. Again, this is is going to be a series so we're going to talk about subtracting decimals multiplying the decimals and other operations involving decimals pati na rin yung mga word problems soon so kung ayaw yung miss don't forget to turn on your notifications for this channel all right thanks guys for watching as you always see sa channel to never stop learning adja adja kaya niyan i'll see you in my next video and bye for now Thank you for staying until the end of the video. If you want to learn something new, there's another video right here that you can watch. And if you want to get to know me a little bit better, here's a link to my second channel, my vlogging channel. Go ahead and subscribe to that. All right, see you soon.